Hits of the 80s and more, 96.3 KKLZ. Every Friday, uh, we check in with Vegas film critic Jeff Howard in studio talking about a couple of big blockbusters. The one everybody's been waiting for, oh, of course, yeah. Batman. Yeah. The Batman. The Batman. The, the Batman. Batman. Yeah, I start- know. I know. <laughs> you got to get it right. The, not the, the. The. Uh, and it stars Robert Pattinson from Twilight fame. And mm-hmm. uh, we find Batman in year two as he's become Batman. And he's played by oh. a younger uh, kind of persona. He's not per- he's not played up like a, a Bruce Wayne playboy. He's, oh. just, okay. he's more of a brooding young man, <laughs> you know, that's <laughs> well, trying t- to. Typical. Yeah. yeah. Well, of typical. course. <laughs> and uh, we have uh, a couple villains in it. We have the Riddler played by Paul Dano. He's a serial killer, yeah. believe it or not. Oof. He's getting revenge on all the Gotham officials that are all corrupt. Okay. And he keeps using yeah. Batman as uh, kind of a catalyst. And oh. the police are going, why are you keep showing up here? Why does this guy keep using your name and leaving you clues and everything? Mm-hmm. Uh, and then also we got the Penguin played by Colin Farrell. Absolutely phenomenal performance. You, you don't even recognize the guy. <laughs> and, and also with John, John Turturro plays one of the Gotham gangsters. Okay, uh, so good cast. It's a great cast and directed by Matt Reeves. It is stylish. It is dark. It is three hours long. Wow. Yeah, so get comfortable. You know, I'm mixed on it. You know, I, I was just like, it's like Zodiac and Seven. It was just kind of a serial killer murder mystery. It just didn't feel too much like a Batman. It was uh, technically an origin story again because we're trying to, hmm. you know, he's trying to find his mm-hmm. way. Uh, so I'm, I'm mixed on it. You know, I just thought it was too long and uh, they could have cut it down. I didn't hate it, you know, but uh, it's just, it looks really cool, but I'm just kind of mixed on it. Let me ask you this because... Because in in previous Batman movies, like with the Penguin, mm-hmm. you know, waddle, he waddled around and stuff like that. When you say Riddler, I think of the TV Riddler, Frank Gorshin. Yeah, yeah. or even where Jim he Carrey, had that even. diabolical yeah, laugh, right? Mm-hmm. And everything. You know, does is is that character still? Oh yeah, he has a diabolical laugh. Okay, he's got a weird looking mask that he uses. Does it's he not... wear the big question mark? No, on... nothing like that. But they no? do use the question mark in all his clues. You know? Okay. Yeah. All so right. Well, it's it's really it's a real brooding emo Batman. <laughs> all right. And aren't the other Batman's in it? Oh no, not this Isn't one. That, There's not a oh, Batman that's, club. Spider Man. That's oh, Spider Man. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. What is Michael Keaton? No. That's a different Batman coming up. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Else. That's yeah. what I was wondering. I didn't. Well, there's I know a, there's they're, one. They're all up in the where, Batcave all together, just right. hanging out. There's and, a new one coming out. There's another right. one coming out where they're wow. all in the it. Different all the different It's like a multiverse kind of thing. Yes, that's it. That's it. I didn't know. But this is a standalone. The Batman is a standalone movie. It's not linked to anything else. All right. Well, then I'm waiting for the other one to come out because I want to see all the other Batman. Absolutely. Get that one. I yeah. want the okay. <laughs> In theaters, we have A Day to Die, and it stars Kevin Dillon. Uh, he's an ex-military man that uh, his wife is kidnapped by a local gangster that he owes a couple million dollars to. So he has $2 million to come up with to get his wife to pay the ransom. Uh, but he calls on some favors from some old pals, and they have to do some quick jobs. Okay. And, yeah, and it stars uh, Frank Grillo, who's one of my favorites, and also oh. Bruce Willis is also oh. okay, I thought it. maybe Liam Neeson would <laughs> pop up in this one. Just about. <laughs> And you can check out my interview with the director on my YouTube channel. Oh, cool. okay. Cool. Good, good. And, and finally today, Suspicion is on Apple TV+. Plus. It's about four people who are accused of a kidnapping a va- of a, an ambassador's son, a teenage son. This looks played good. Played by Uma Thurman. Yeah. yeah, this looks good. And what's what's unique about it, it shows you that they're just accused of something. You know, there's no evidence yet. There's no trial. They're just arrested and questioned because they're all of these four people were in the same New York hotel when the kid was kidnapped. Right. And they're all British citizens. Mm. So, of course, they haul them in. They question them. All of a sudden, now at work, they're under suspicion. Uh, their mm. family, their friends. It shows how people's lives are destroyed just by being guilt by association. Yeah. Okay. You know, at the wrong place Boy. at the wrong time. And not only that, Ooh. there's surveillance that they have everywhere they go. They even cut the cameras oh, in every wow. street corner on your phone. Oh, my gosh. It just shows wherever they're going to being followed. So great, great series, great thriller on Apple It's TV. called Suspicion. All right. Follow them on Facebook, YouTube. There's, that's where you find all the great interviews oh, yeah. you yes. have. Oh, yeah. And not to mention <laughs> VegasFilmCritic.com. Uh, Jeff, thank you so much. Good stuff. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks a lot.